welcome all so i'll take up some of uh, uh, the very good questions uh, from gate and engineering services examination point of view maybe uh, for bark or isro uh, the topic that i am taking uh, the questions on is uh, theories of failure let me take up some very good questions so i'll take up three questions and you will get a good idea of how uh, the failure theories are applied to some practical questions okay a solid circular shaft one second please okay a solid circular shaft made of ductile material with a yield stress intention as 280 megapascal is subjected to a torque of 10 kilo newton meter using Tresca failure theory the smallest radius to avoid the failure is so let me do this question okay there is a shaft and the shaft is subjected to a torque of 10 kilo newton meter so i will write it as 10 power 3 kilo 10 power 3 newton meter is 10 power 3 mm so the torque is nothing but 10 into 10 this is 10 10 power 3 10 power 3 10 power 6 newton mm or this can also be written as 10 raised to 7 newton mm this is the torque okay now he is asking according to Tresca's failure theory what is the minimum radius of the shaft to avoid the failure whenever a member is subjected to pure torsion if you take an element on the surface we have something like this this is tau max this is tau max this is tau and this is tau okay no problem at all right let's try to draw and what we do is let's try to find out the maximum shear stress according to this the maximum in this case if you draw the more circle you will get the maximum shear stress okay let's draw uh, more circle this is normal stress and this is shear stress okay look at you know the center of Mohr circle will lie on sigma x plus sigma y by 2 comma 0 the center of Mohr circle will always lie on normal axis that is a x axis so therefore because y coordinate is 0 there is no sigma x there is no because under pure torsion uh, there is no sigma x there is no sigma y sigma x plus sigma y by 2 is nothing but 0 plus 0 by 2 okay so this will be the center let's find out the radius and the radius is under root of sigma x there is no sigma x minus sigma y there is no sigma y by 2 whole square plus tau square so the radius is equal to tau the center is here and the radius is tau so this is our more circle and the radius is nothing but this is tau and you know this is the major principal stress this is 2 and this is minor principal stress so i will write sigma 1 is the major principal stress tau and sigma 2 is minor principal stress that is minus tau the point to be noted here and you know sigma 3 is 0 okay always calculate the absolute maximum shear stress now i told you in my earlier classes also when two principal stresses are of opposite nature and the third is 0 then the maximum and you know the maximum shear stress is nothing but 
it is maximum of absolute maximum of sigma 1 minus sigma 2 by 2 sigma 2 minus sigma 3 is 0 by 2 and sigma 1 minus sigma 3 is 0 by 2 absolute maximum look at carefully when both are of opposite nature minus of minus will be plus and this value will be more i repeat when both are of opposite nature the absolute maximum is this one only for example i'll give you an example let us say sigma 1 is 30 sigma 2 is minus 10 so sigma 2 will be minus 10 by 2 it will be minus 5 sigma 1 is 30 30 by 2 is 15 now what about this 30 minus of minus is plus 30 plus 10 is 40 by 2 is 20 so this will be 20 minus 15 minus so this will be maximum so therefore always remember when two principal stresses are of opposite nature the maximum will be this so i write tau maximum is equal to sigma 1 minus sigma 2 by 2 okay now what is sigma 1 tau what is sigma 2 minus tau so therefore now i write so maximum shear stress is given by sigma 1 is tau minus sigma 2 is minus tau by 2 so the maximum shear stress is nothing but tau itself only very good which theory is he asking Tresca's failure theory and you know very well according to Tresca's failure theory the maximum shear stress according to Tresca theory is half of yield according to Tresca's theory the maximum shear is half of yield and the yield is given as in tension the yield is 280 therefore now this can be written as tau max is equal to 1 uh, 280 by 2 which is nothing but 140 mega pascal therefore the maximum shear stress which is tau is nothing but maximum shear stress which is tau is 140 no issues at all 140 mega pascal and what is he asking in the problem and it is subjected to a torque of 10 into 10 power 7 and uh, uh, what is given he is asking the radius okay fine and uh, uh, the torque is 10 power 7 torque is 10 power 7 and uh, the shear stress is 140 you know that when a member is subjected to pure torsion we have tau is maximum shear stress. from our torsional theory t by j is equal to tau by r tau max is given by 16 t by pi d cube okay the maximum shear stress is 140 that is equal to 16 the torque is already you know 10 power 7 i repeat this is mega pascal mega pascal is nothing but newton per mm square means my length dimensions are in mm 16 t already i kept this in newton mm by 16 t by pi d cube okay and let me calculate the value 16 into 1 exponent 7 divided by pi okay divided by 140 yes and uh, i want this value what is that uh, yes so you are getting d value as 71.38 mm but i think it is a fill in the blank question if you see he is ask, he's not asking diameter he is asking radius so that 2 in centimeter and always remember whenever it is a fill in the blank question you should take extra care of units okay and he is asking radius and that 2 in centimeter but i got the diameter but not in centi centimeter i got in uh, mm so the diameter is given by 71.38 mm so if you want radius radius is half of the diameter so divide with 2 and you have 35.69 mm and if you want in centimeter it will be 3.569 if you are rounding it off this will be in centimeter 3.57 centimeter is the diameter this is the diameter is it clear very good now please understand things clearly now coming next to two questions are beautiful questions and coming two questions are very good questions let's take up those questions read this question let me read let me read the question 
a solid transmission shaft has a length of 10 meter and diameter of 100 mm. The shaft is supported by frictionless bearings at the ends that act as simple supports. There is a shaft and it is supported in bearings and those can be treated as simple supports. The length of the uh, shaft is given 10 meter. Okay. Now, the diameter is also given. Look at carefully. In addition to its self weight, oh my God, acting as a uniformly distributed load per unit length. In addition, so the shaft is asking us to include the weight of this. Because of its weight, it will bend. Okay, I repeat, because of its weight, it will bend. And he clearly said, assume that weight as simply, uh, assume that weight as uniformly distributed throughout its length. Very good. So actually, so what I'm doing is, this is the shaft, it has its own weight spread over the length. Now, it is, he is asking us to treat it as that, that weight uniformly distributed throughout the length. Iska matlab, agar shaft negligible weight hai, to this can be treated as uniformly distributed load or shaft ka weight is uniformly spread throughout the length. Okay. The density of the shaft is given as 8000 kilogram per meter cube. Okay. Uh, the yield strength, the yield strength is 350 mega pascal. Very good. And uh, using G as 10 meter per second square, ignore the effect of transverse shear. Okay. Transverse shear. Okay. The factor of safety as per Tresca theory or maximum shear stress theory. This is also a good question. But he also said, apart from this, it is subjected to a torque of, it is also subjected to a torque of 5 pi kilo newton meter. Chalo. Let us try to solve this question. Let's try to solve this question. Okay. Isko hum solve karne ki koshish karenge. Chalo. You know my dear students, when a shaft is subjected to Yes, uniformly distributed load, we know that the maximum bending moment is given by, if this is W per unit length, if the uniformly distributed load is W per unit length, the maximum bending moment is given by W L square by 8. Okay, let's calculate W. Can you tell me what is W? It is, well, first let us calculate, W is weight per unit length. And that weight is uniformly distributed throughout the length. If you know my dear friends, density is equal to mass over volume, or mass is equal to density into volume, or weight is equal to mg, total weight of that shaft, or weight per unit length is your small w weight per unit length so therefore weight per unit length is small w already you know weight what is that weight Deco weight weight kya hai mg weight is mg weight per unit length okay but m is equal to rho v so small w is equal to small w m g by l but what is m what is m m is rho v this m can be written as rho v okay m small w is m is rho v into g by l very good so but you know that volume can be written as area into length okay this volume can be written as a l by l okay no problem at all so therefore weight per unit length is given by rho g into a 
So let's calculate weight per unit. The density is given, I think, as 8,000, if I'm not wrong. Yes, it is 8,000. And he is asking us to take G as 10, the area. Pi, it is circular in shape. So therefore, pi by 4.1. Let me take the uh, 100 mm is 0.1 square. The unit of this will be weight per unit length because I have taken length dimensions in meter. So let me calculate 0 0.01 into pi uh, into 8, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 4. One second, please. 0 0.01 into exponent by 4 into 8, 1, 2, 3. 62.5. Uh, rho GL. So what is the density? Let me check. 8,000, Hannah. Right? Okay, so 8000, so this will be, uh, let me check once again, 8000 into 10 into pi into 0 0.01 by 4 and this will be 628.32 Newton per meter. This is W per unit length, this is W per unit length, okay. No problem at all. Yeah, this is W. Let's calculate the maximum bending moment. Whenever the shaft is subjected to uniformly distributed load throughout the length, the maximum bending moment for simply supported load, the maximum bending moment is given by W L square by 8. Please take care of units. W, what is W? 628.32. The unit is huh, Newton meter L. The length is given as 10. So 10 square. Length square is meter square by 8. So this you get it in Newton meter. Newton meter. So 620 second. 628.32. And I request everyone to calculate. Yes. This will be 7854. Take care of unit. So Newton meter. Or this can be written as, okay, I got bending moment. That is the maximum bending moment. So let us calculate the maximum bending stress. The maximum bending stress is given by M by I is equal to sigma by Y, M by Y, I. So sigma maximum is given by M. Already you know N7854. 7854 into 10 power 3. It was in Newton meter. I'll convert it into convert it into Newton mm. Why? What is the diameter? The diameter is given as 100 mm. So therefore, it will be y will be 50 because if this is the shaft and from the center the maximum value the y is 100 hai to ye 50 mm hoga. Okay. By i for circular section i is pi by 64 diameter is 100 power 4 this is newton mm this is mm this is mm power 4 so you will get this in newton this is newton per mm square which is mega pascal let me calculate into 50 okay divided by so i am getting this as 80 mega pascal clearly he also said in the problem it is subjected to a torque of 5 pi kilo newton meter so the torque is given as 5 pi kilo newton meter so i will write this as 5 pi kilo means 10 power 3 meter is 10 power 3 this will be in newton mm okay and the maximum shear stress because of the torque is given by from my fundamental equations 16 t by pi d cube 16 the torque is 5 pi into 10 power 6 this is 10 power 6 by pi d cube i think the diameter is given as 100 100 power 3 let's check the unit torque is taken in newton mm 
because from Newton meter I converted and d cube is mm cube. So this will be in Newton per mm square. Newton per mm square is nothing but mega Pascal. So pi pi is gone. 100 power 3 is 10 power 6. 10 power 6. 16 phi's it is 80. The maximum shear stress is 80 mega Pascal. Actually, my member is subjected to combined bending. Because of bending, there will be normal stress in the cross section and it is also subjected to torsional shear. So, the bending stress is, the maximum bending stress is 80 and the maximum shear stress is 80. Okay. Now, let's try to calculate, my dear students. So, let me erase. Okay. Now, the uh, value of sigma. So, if you see, this is nothing but 80. And this is also 80. Okay, fine. So therefore, sigma x is equal to 80, the bending stress. Sigma y, there is no sigma y, 0. And tau is given as 80. He is asking us to calculate according to Tresca theory, if I am not wrong. X again, Tresca theory. Okay, let's calculate the maximum shear stress. Okay, no problem. Sigma 1 is equal to sigma x plus sigma y by 2 plus under root of sigma x minus sigma y by 2 ka whole square plus tau square. Okay, no problem at all. And you know this is sigma 1 is sigma x is 80 plus 0. 80 plus 0 uh, is 80. 80 plus 0 by 2 plus uh, if you want sigma 1 to plus or minus, plus or minus, 80 minus 0 by 2 ka whole square plus tau is also 80. So, I think you are getting sigma 1 comma 2 as 80 by 2 is 40 plus or minus under root. 80 by 2 is 40 square plus 80 square. So, kitna ho gai? 6400 plus 1600. This will be under root. So, 89 point. So, sigma 1 comma 2 is 40 plus or minus 89.44. Okay, no problem at all. Sigma 1 will be plus to 129.44 and sigma 2 will be minus. So, 40 minus. So, it will be minus 49.44. And I told you very clearly, whenever two principal stresses are of opposite nature, the maximum shear stress will be absolute maximum will be sigma 1 minus sigma 2 by 2. Whenever, if both are of the same nature, then sigma 1 minus sigma 2 by 2, sigma 1 by 2, sigma 2 by 2. Then from there you have to calculate. But already both, both are of opposite nature. So the maximum shear stress is given by sigma 1 is 129.44 and sigma 2 is minus 49.44 by 2. Uh, if I calculate the maximum shear stress in the actual member, it will be uh, 129. It will be 129.44 plus 89.44. So, this will be 129.44 S by 2. 89.44. This is the maximum shear stress. But this is shear. Let us see what is the, uh, I know the maximum shear that we got, got is 89.44. No problem. It is in mega Pascal. And the yield stress in tension is 350. So according to Tresca theory, the maximum shear permissible, permissible is sigma yield by 2. What is sigma yield? 350 by 2. This will be 175. Now, this is the actual working stress. We have calculated this 89.4 from the actual stresses. This is from actual loaded member we have calculated. So, this is the maximum working stress in the material. And the maximum permissible is 175. So, the factor of safety is nothing but maximum permissible the maximum permissible is from yield i get sigma y by 2 as 175 by the working stress the working we got from the actual loaded conditions as 89.44 so therefore if you calculate this value 
I am getting this as 1.956 or 1. Point, if I run it off, 1.96 is the factor of safety according to maximum shear stress theory. Now we'll take up the last question, which is very, 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 very important. Please take up this question. This is a wonderful question. Let me read the question first. It's a very good question. Uh, let me read the question and it's a beautiful question. Color change karenge, koi dikkat nahi. Ha, highlighter, highlighter. Okay, mm, I'll take up light color. Ye wala le lenge. In the structure shown in figure, this is the figure. This is the figure. Bars AB, this is AB and BC. This is B and this is C. BC are made of identical material. Both are, both these bars are made of identical material having circular cross section of 10 mm radii of the radius is 10 mm or the diameter is 20 mm. The yield stress is given as 280 megapascal. Using one Mrs. Oh, -ho, using one Mrs. criterion, using one Mrs. criterion. The maximum load that can be applied along the Z direction. Z direction is perpendicular to the plane of this screen. This screen. This is the Z direction. This is the Z direction that can be applied at C. This is point C. Such that AB does not yield. Okay, this is AB. So, bol kya raha hai? It's something like this, my dear students. Let me explain. Okay. Now, this is the member. Either dekhna. Yeah. This is the member. Okay. Right. Now, observe. We are applying a load like this, like this, like this, like this, perpendicular to the plane. So, what he says is, what should be the maximum value of this load perpendicular to this screen? Z direction. Z direction. How much load should be applied so that this member does not fail according to von Mises or distortion energy theory. This is the question. Now we will try to solve this question. This is a wonderful question my dear students. Okay. Now. Okay. Uh, this is our C. Okay. The lengths are given. AB has a length of 0.55 meter or 550 mm. BC has a length of 0.5 meter that is 500 mm. We are applying a load actually like this. Let the load be P. Let the load be P. Very good. Now he is asking no failure of this member ABAB. So what I do is from my mechanics. Uh, ek second, uh, dusra color le lenge, um, different color. Okay. What I do is I have applied a load like this. So I will. What I do is I will apply hypothetical like this. PP. Very good. So, kya hoga dekho? Please observe. This is the actual load. This is the actual load. So, I am applying at the same point two equal loads of opposite sign. So, uh, mechanics se koi problem nahi hai. And if you observe these two, ek baar dekhna. If you observe, I will change the color again so that you can understand clearly. Oh, kon sa color le le? Okay. If you observe these two, this P and this P. One is inwards, one is outwards. So these two are creating torque in the cross. There is a, it will create a couple in the cross section of this. It's like this. It's like this. 
okay so now observe here i have applied a force actually dekho dekho so like this ye ye to already applied to main kya kar raha hu idhar ek idhar ek apply kar raha hu both in the opposite direction both in the opposite direction idhar dekhna both in the opposite direction idhar ek idhar ek so already we have a load here to ye और ये ये क्या कर रहा है इट इज दे आर ट्राइंग टू ट्विस्ट दिस दे आर ट्राइंग टू ट्विस्ट दिस दिस एंड इफ यू सी दिस इज लाइक दिस एंड दिस इज लाइक दिस लाइक दिस तो ये वाला ऐसा और ये वाला ऐसा दे आर क्रिएटिंग कपल इन द क्रॉस सेक्शन ऑफ दिस बी मतलब ये दिस टू दिस टू विल रिजल्ट इन अ कपल दैट इज इन द प्लेन ऑफ क्रॉस सेक्शन ऑफ दिस ए बी तो ये टॉर्क क्रिएट कर रहा है अगर हम ए बी को ड्रॉ करके बताएंगे okay this this and this these two inward outward so both are causing a torque uh, in this member so what is that p into what is the length of bc the torque is given by applied load p into bc what is bc 0.5 तो 0.5 मीटर को मैं क्या करता हूं 500 mm लेता हूं let this be in newton this is in mm so the torque is the length bc is 500 mm 500 mm so therefore p into 500 mm is the torque because of this torque there will be torsional shear stresses okay and please note down ye do to replace ho gaye ye do these two got replaced but there is a load like this dekho ek bar and these two got reduced in terms of couple uh, torque but there is a load like this dekho ek bar and there is a load like this idhar dekhna there is a load like this. because of this it will bend there is a load like this yeah how much p so we are he is talking for about ab and uh, the length of ab is 550 mm okay so this is resulting in bending this and where is the bending moment maximum x second Where is the bending moment maximum at the fixed end? So maximum bending moment is given by P into 550. So it will be 550 P, and the unit is Newton mm. This is the magnitude of bending moment. This is the magnitude of torque. Both are in Newton mm. Because of the bending, there will be direct stresses. That is, uh, you know, bending stresses which are nothing but normal stresses. And due to torque, there is a torsional shear stress. let's try to calculate and you know m by i is equal to sigma by y he is asking p so let's calculate sigma what is sigma m y by i so sigma will be equal to m what is m 550 uh p okay that is m y and you know it is given the cross section radius this is the one so this radius is given as 10 mm so therefore my y maximum stress bending stress will be here so therefore y will be equal to 10 by m y by i i is pi by 64 d power is this diameter is 20 so therefore it will be 20 power 4 let us check the unit m is in newton mm y is in mm and i is pi by 64 d power 4 diameter is in mm diameter power for mm power 4 so mm square mm square so it will be newton per mm square which is mega pascal so let me calculate let me calculate so what do i get 550 into 640 divided by shift exponent okay by 16 1 2 3 4 this is 0.7 okay so the sigma is given by 0.7 p now let's calculate the maximum shear stress due to this torque uh, we, uh, t is 500 p t is 500 p the maximum t by j is equal to tau by r or tau max is given by 16 t by pi d cube you know it very well so therefore 16 what is t kahan gaya ji Oh, 500 p so 500 p 
by pi diameter. What is the diameter? 20 cube. If I am not wrong, check the diameter. Check well, let me check the Yes, 20. No problem at all. So, therefore, 16 into 500 okay, by pi by mm, 8, 1, 2, 3. One second, please. 16 into 500 by pi by 8. Kya galat ho raha yaar. 16 into 500 by 8. 0.318. Okay. Newton per mm square, which is mega Pascal. Okay. There is a normal stress of 0.7 P and there is a shear stress of this. It is the case of combined loading. There is a normal stress of 0.7 P and there is a shear stress already we know of 0.3183. Anti clockwise? Clockwise. Okay, let's calculate sigma 1 comma sigma 2. What are sigma 1 comma sigma 2? This is nothing but sigma x. There is no sigma y. It is 0. So, therefore, the um, principles are given by sigma x plus sigma y by 2. Sigma x is 0.7p plus sigma y by 2 plus or minus under root of sigma x minus sigma y by 2 ka whole square plus tau square 0.3183 p ka whole square okay no problem at all no problem at all 0.3183 there is p also there is p also okay now let's calculate mm, square plus point, point 0.35 square This value is 0.4731p and this is 0.35p sigma 1 comma 2. Sigma 1 will be plus sigma 2 will be minus. So plus 0.35. This is 0.8231p and this is 0.35 minus 0.4731. And this is minus 0.1231p. He is asking according to distortion theory. I repeat, he is asking according to distortion theory. One second, please. Sigma 1 is 0.823p. Let me check. 0.8231p. And uh, sigma 2 is. 2 is uh, minus 0.1231 very good he is asking according to distortional energy theory the maximum load we know according to distortional energy theory in fact in my earlier videos on theories of failures I have derived each and everything sigma 1 square plus sigma 2 square minus sigma 1 sigma 2 is equal to sigma y square already I had derived one second please what is the yield stress given uh, it is 280 it is 280 sigma 1 0 0.8231 p ka whole square sigma 2 minus 0 0.1231 p ka whole square minus sigma 1 0.8231 p into sigma 2 minus 0.1231 p should be equal to sigma y. I think it is given as 280. Ek bar check karunga. Yeah, 280. No issues. Okay. Now let's calculate this. Don't worry. One second, please. Yeah. Yeah, now, uh, so I will calculate uh, 
0.82 sorry 0.8231 का स्क्वायर प्लस 1231 स्क्वायर ओके प्लस 8231 ओके तो ये आ रहा है 0.79397 p स्क्वायर इज इक्वल टू 280 स्क्वायर इनटू सो यू आर गेटिंग द वैल्यू ऑफ p स्क्वायर एस 98774.2 एंड इफ यू वांट p सो यू विल गेट p वैल्यू एस 314.23 न्यूटन this is the maximum load that we can apply so that the material does not fail so that the material does not fail this is these are some of the good questions which you can expect in uh, uh, your mechanical gate so or engineering services whatever it may be because for machine design the syllabus uh, for uh, uh, gate and engineering services even word to word everything is absolutely same so we can expect such questions in either gate or engineering services. So thank you my dear students for watching. So I'll come up with many more such questions. God bless you all. Thank you.